we have age limits. You, know, you, you can't drive until you're 16. You can't drink until you're, you're a certain age. You can't yeah. vote until you're a certain age. So, you know, something that could be harmful, detrimental, like social media, I think uh, there is a certain age. And I know a lot of parents that, I mean, my daughter will not let my uh, granddaughter, she's 12, on social media. You know, you give them a phone, but now they, they you have blocks on the phone so they can't get on some of right. these social media platforms. I don't know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Hi, I'm Chaz Palminteri. The Wise, and I'm Michael Francis. The Wise Guy. Here we are again. We're back. Here we are again. I mean, what is going on on TikTok? Well, they want to force a sale yeah. know, of TikTok because they said it's very damaging to our youth. Well, which I agree with. And, yeah. you know, the Chinese influence in TikTok because it's a Chinese owner. Yeah, that scares me more than anything. Well, you know, th that's number one. Number two, because they're eavesdropping on us through TikTok. It's, it's, it's Chaz, the technology that they have today for a layman like us, we, yeah. we can't understand it. Right. But, but uh, so they want to force a sale of the Chinese company to be out of TikTok so that they can't eavesdrop on us anymore. They can't pollute and contaminate the minds of our kids. Because if you look at TikTok in China versus TikTok here, you wouldn't believe it. They're like two different platforms. Here, they're just polluting the minds of really? all of us. Oh, yeah. And I, I, is there an age limit in China? No, no, I don't believe so. But it's more educational. It's more, it's a whole different platform from what I understand. Right. Is what I'm told. But, you know, there's some issues here. It's And it's, you know, whenever you get to that, that kind of slippery slope, like, okay, they're going to try to ban a social media platform. Uh, is this now a free speech issue? It's always something you got you to gotta look at really closely, you know, especially with the government. I always get a little bit leery about what they want to do. And I want to make this clear. If somebody came to me today, mm. and I have a presence on social media, so do you. Yeah. If somebody came to me today and said, you know what, we're going to kill social media across the board. It's all over, done with. I would say you got my vote. Get rid of it. Mean like all social media. Get rid of it. And I'll tell you why, Chaz. Yeah. I think, you know, some of the things that I've been told, some of the, and it's mostly for young people. You know, first of all, social media, in my view, exposed the lunacy in the world. Some of the people that comment and you see things on social media, it's it, where these people come from. There's a it lot of gave lunacy. people who have no business having a platform a platform. Absolutely. And yeah. they hide behind it. You don't know who they are half the time. But uh, even those that you do know, right. you know, what are you going to do? It's social media. But if it were up to me, and again, social media has worked for me. It's worked for you. Yeah. I get it. But I would say ban it. Let's go back to the way things were because I think it's more harm than good. I really do believe yeah. that. There's a part of me that I go, I might, then you might get my vote to ban it because there were, back then it was like, Kids played together. They went outside. They played sports. Kids wrote letters. They read. They weren't... I mean, I, my own kids, I see it. My daughter, they're on that thing all day, all night. Well, Chaz, let me ask you this. When you have a big platform like we have, I can't tell you some of the comments that I get about me personally, about this and that and yeah. that. How are young kids going to handle that? You know, young kids that get abused about... Their appearance, they get abused, they, right. they become social outcasts because kids could be so mean. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and they find it very difficult to handle. You and I get stuff. And oh, right, my God, men, yeah. And it, it's annoying. But these kids, they end up killing themselves. Yeah. Cyberbullying is a real thing, man. Do you know that uh, a friend of mine was a chief of police over at UCLA? Yeah. Do you know that he told me that he had one suicide a month at UCLA? For cyberbullying. For whatever, you know, mental illness, the pressure that these kids are under. And he believed, as I do, that social media had a, played a big part in that. I mean, in our experience, let's, let's just say in our experience. I mean, how do you feel when, well, I know you, you don't give a shit. Neither do I. When people say things about you or me, or say things about both of us together, being together, I laugh at that. Yeah. I, I, I find that funny. For some reason, I find it funny. Because... Anybody, anybody, I mean, whether who you are, uh, whether you're male or female, if you say something bad about me, you, I mean, you, you know who you are, I know who I am. I laugh at it. You know what I say I to people like that? I say people who say things about me, I say, you know what? Look at your life, look at mine. Enough said. As my father would always say, 
I wish you the life you have. That's it. He goes, that's enough punishment for them. 100% right. You know, and I look at it this way. I laugh at it too. Some of it is so ridiculous. But, you know, if you have to build your presence right. by knocking and bad-mouthing other people, what does that say about you? You know, and so un unfortunately online, so many people are guilty of that on social media. Right. They want to build themselves or build their platform or get views by right. knocking other people. Right. I've been knocked from here to eternity. I oh never my respond. God. Never respond. Yes. I'm an actor. It's ridiculous. So I, I've been, I've, I've gotten bad reviews. I mean, I've gotten great reviews. Mm -hmm. I, I've been, I laugh at the, I laugh at this yeah. stuff. It's pathetic in a way because it's so uncalled for, but, you know, I don't pay attention to it. I, really, I know. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, only one time, and I'm not going right. to get into it. I remember it. that. One time, right. yes. it got to me a little bit, and I was mad at myself afterwards because I said, come on, right. you know, look at the source, you yeah. know, and, uh, and then I left it at that. And, I, and even if it continued, I said, I'm done. It's stupid. I don't pay attention to well, it. Well, because you're not going to say anything to make this person go, he was right, I was wrong. That's never going to happen. Never gonna happen. It's never going to happen. So you know what? Have your. I wish you the life you have. You yeah. wish you had my life. You wish you had my life. They wish they had your life. So, but so, that's the that's the getting back to the kids. That's right. the danger for these young people. Can right. they handle it? You know, because they this can't. is peer pressure. They this can't is, handle it. A lot of them can't. They can't handle There's it. There's a lot of even if they don't obviously commit suicide. God forbid. The bouts of depression, yes. terrible, terrible. Terrible. Mental illness, depression, yeah. a lot of it is coming from social media. And that's, yes. that's not my research. That's stuff that we hear all the now, time. Now picture somebody who's an asshole, okay? And now you give him a platform. Now he becomes bigger asshole. That's like, oh my God. You're right. And now picture thousands and millions of them all online trying to get a presence, trying to get clicks, trying to get views, trying to draw somebody into a, a Twitter fight. Yeah. That's insane. I know. You know, it gets me too, there's, there's so many guys online that they tout their views. They get on there and they calculate them and they right. show people, I got this many views, this many views, that many views. I mean, come on, that's like childish stuff. Yes. You know, but guys are really doing that. and. And people do that, and I imagine these young youngsters are doing that also. And it's, right. it's social media. I'm telling you, it's uh, exposed the lunacy in the world. And you're right with our young people. It's kept them, you know, from doing things that we used to do as a kid that were normal. They don't want to. They they're into their phones. They're into their laptops. They're into, and that's it. And that's it. There's 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 a loss. There's a lost art of communication. Yeah. I'm talking face to face. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. Face to face. Kids break up with their girlfriends or boyfriends on the oh, phone. I, I know. Not so sure. Can't see you anymore. Uh, I'm dating someone else. Yeah. Just like that. What happened to like, how about be accountable for your emotions? How about looking a girl in the face and say, I'm sorry, I don't love you anymore. Or this is not working out. No, they'll send a text or they'll, they'll send do it a text. on social media, direct message or something like that. Yeah. How, how do you people feel about that out there? Send us some comments about that. If you had a choice, if they said we could stop social media right now, it matters the votes we get. How would you vote? Yeah. And my vote is kill it. My vote is I would have to think about it a little yeah. more because there is some good. You could find any information you want, good information. Yeah. Uh, you could find things to read about faster. Find books online faster. It's like anything else. But you know what, Chaz? Then, then you hear the other side of this, and I'm not going to mention the platform, but there's a platform that I heard, read recently, that interviewed, I'm sorry, that interfered in our elections 41 times by putting, yeah. out, putting yeah. out false information. So it could be very misleading too, very damaging. You're right. And then, of course, hiding information that could be that should be exposed, that people should know about. So you can play so much with social media and people don't know, you know? Look, <clears throat> I came from the street. I'm always leery of something that I see. Me too. You too. So we're always, uh, you know, but normal people, they see something. Right. Okay, it makes sense. It's coming from what they believe to be a credible yeah. source. So right. they believe it, you know? Right. And you, you and I, them. we're more like, 
We're starting off, it's a lie. Yeah, exactly. Until you prove to me you're telling the truth. Exactly. Where most people go, oh, they're telling the truth. Oh, that was a lie? Yeah. We are, it's a lie. Exactly. Oh, they're telling the truth? <laughs> we look. <laughs> that's the difference of what you, yeah. how we believe. Because yeah. from growing up in the street, that's how we feel. Everybody's lying to yeah. you. And you can't blame normal people. They're just, you know, right. oh, okay, he said it, he's credible. You know, yeah. I believe it. Yeah. So, you know, there's so much of that going on in social media. Let me ask you, what do you think of this? Recently, Ron DeSantis in Florida, yeah. he banned social media for people under 14 years old. Yeah, for TikTok or any social media? Uh, social media platforms. Wow. Yeah, under 14. In Florida? Uh, in Florida. Yeah. How do you enforce that? It's the parents who got to enforce it. Yeah, I'm not sure how they enforce it, but... Um, wow. Yeah, that's that's the deal. And, yeah. uh, and the people went along with it down there. I mean, they, they ain't along. And for me, like I said, I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think these kids should grow up normally and, and you know, uh, communicate normally right. with people. And, and uh, maybe when they're... Full, look... We have age limits, and you can't drive until you're 16. You can't drink until you're, you're a certain age. You can't yeah. vote until you're a certain age. So, you know, something that could be harmful, detrimental, like social media, I think uh, there is a certain age. And I know a lot of parents that, I mean, my daughter will not let my uh, granddaughter, she's 12, on social media. You know, you give them a phone, but now they, they you have blocks on the phone so they can't get on some of right. these social media platforms. I don't know. It's, it's a double-edged sword. You know, they have chat rooms. Yeah. They yeah. have chat rooms for pedophiles. Yeah, I know that. Did you ever go on the dark web? No, I've never been on that. What oh. is that? It's, uh, I, I, I was on, uh, Buzz, what was it, BuzzFeed, I think, was the uh, right. platform, huge platform, 20 million followers. And I did something, and they brought me to the dark web. I don't even know how to get to it. Yeah. But if you see what's going on here, drugs being sold and... Oh, all sorts of stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now, why doesn't the government get involved in that and arrest these people? I don't know. But, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's a double-edged sword in some way because, you know, the freedom of speech, the, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm the guy that I hate to give too much enforcement power to the government because I know this. You give them an inch, they'll, abuse they'll take a yard, they'll abuse, and they'll never yeah. give it back. They'll never give it back. Never no. give it back. So it always leads to something more, yeah. to overreach. So I'm always leery about that. I mean, the founding fathers didn't think about the internet, let's face no. it. No, no, they did not. There's things that they didn't think about, and um, understandably so. But the structure, the foundation of the, of the Constitution it's is great. brilliant. It's, it's brilliant. brilliant, yes. But, you know, look, I am, uh, I'm a small government guy. I believe in limited government. Um, uh, and I'm always afraid to give them more power to take something away from yes, us. Yes, because that absolute power corrupts, absolutely. absolutely. You know, so yeah, but we, we would love to hear what you have to say about it. I mean, I, uh, I'm going to get rid of the internet, get rid of, well, I should say get rid of social media. Right. There's certain platforms on the internet that obviously are very helpful and they're and they're Because there resources. are good things on there. Yeah, oh you yeah. You know, TED Talks, uh, some of those are really wonderful, yeah. uh, Christian Talks. Yes. You know, born again Christian uh, internet. Oh, just people want to converse. Moviegoers who love to talk about movies. Yes. A, lot of, a lot of good resources are on there and a lot of good entertainment in some way. Right. But, but the, you know, the, the flip yeah. side. The problem is, Michael, there's a, I mean, there's really a lot of evil in the world. Do you think there's more evil in the world now than it was years ago? Or because we have the internet, we see it more? Well, you know, Chaz, I can only comment during my lifetime, yeah. and I would say that now, I would never, I never would have thought I'd see some of the things that I'm witnessing now. Yeah, you know, just listen. I, I have to. I'll comment on it, and you know, I've never thought I'd see what's happening in women's sports with with men competing against women in women's sports. You know, when, when I look at that, trans men, whatever they, whatever they are. To me, I'm sorry, I may get some abuse from it, but to me, they're cowards. If you're a guy, compete in your own, you don't have to compete with women, compete in your own way, and then be a woman. Yeah, you know, I, I think they should have, tra I th I think they should have transport, a trans sport exactly. for people who, because I've said it a hundred times, I, I've met trans guys, uh, trans men and women. I used to work at a very famous nightclub in the early 80s, and they, there was, there was huge trends going in there on Monday nights, and and, and, I, and I befriended a lot of those people, and they were great people. Absolutely. And I and I always say to people, does they deserve to be happy, 
and have a life like anybody else. I agree. Absolutely. But have your own league. I don't think it's that hard to do. Yes, just recently, a trans athlete competed in women's weightlifting and blew the, every woman away. I mean, that's... that's blew them away. But how do you feel if you're working hard as a woman your whole life to, to get a scholarship or get into the, uh, you know, uh, professional ranks and you can't do it because of a man who's cheating? Exactly. He's cheating. And how do we support something like that? Nobody's saying that you don't have a right to be whatever you want to be if that's it. But yes, you can't, comp you can't make your own classification and compete. Right. But you know what? That's not the trend today. People are supporting them. You know, it gets me, where's the women's rights groups that are, that are yeah. not up in arms over this? They made know. a, you know, they made a, a, a Riley Gaines, the woman that was, you know, yeah. impacted by this. They made a devil out of her, and all she's doing is standing up for women in sports. Yes, you know, I think she has every right to do that. She has her opinion on it. Uh, she was affected by it, you know. But I never thought I'd see the the day, Chaz. I'm sorry, you know. And again, like you said, you have a right to live what you want. Nobody's saying anything, but, you know, what gets me is live the way you want, but don't force me to have to compromise or don't force people yeah. to have to compromise. I, I to don't want you. you to compromise. No. I'm not asking you to compromise. Yeah. You know, don't force me to compromise. That's, that, a, that's the whole thing. Yeah. My daughter is a swimmer and she wants to get a scholarship to a great school and she gets beat out by a guy, by a trans guy. That's not fair, man. It's not fair. And, and it's not only that, it's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a, a, a soccer team that I heard that had about five or six trans men on a women's soccer team. Yeah. Undefeated. Women can't compete with them. No. They in can't. fact, they'll get hurt. Yeah, undefeated. Well, one woman did get hurt dramatically. Yeah, the one who kicked the ball yeah. hit her in the face. And yeah. And, and you don't hear a peep. It's very quiet you don't hear about a peep. that. I, I don't get it. Things like that I don't understand. I wouldn't want my daughter competing against that. You know, and I have five daughters. I wouldn't want any one of them. There isn't somebody in the U UFC, in boxing, a UFC, that, that's a trans man, and he fights in the woman's boxing or UFC? He can kill her. Forget it. You know, somebody made a joke. What happens if Mike Tyson all of a sudden, you know, I wanted to identify as a woman, a trans, yeah. and started fight, boxing? At, at 65 years old, he would beat any woman he in the world. He would be a world champ. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy stuff. Yeah, it's just say he did that. I see myself as a woman. That would be unfair. I, gosh, he would kill some. He would kill a woman. Yes. Don't other people see this? Chaz, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's, these uh, are the things that are very difficult and to And I explain. always go, is there a, like, a, a thing going on here that we don't know? Is there like a bigger picture? That's why people are doing this for the bigger right. picture? L let me ask you a question. I know the answer already. There's no doubt in my mind. But let me ask you a question. Okay. Why would we allow illegal immigrants to pour into our country? Why would we be a country without borders? What would be the reasoning to well, allow that? Well, that's pretty obvious to me. To me, is they're buying votes. 100%. They're buying votes. And, and, but you don't care about your country? Do you, all you care about is, is the single aim of your party just to stay in power and you want to keep those, you want to change the states from red to blue? Or, or is there a bigger issue? And again... There's issues on, on the um, Republican side that I'm still upset. You know, George Bush spending $120 trillion for, these, for the war. Like, a war, a war that you know you couldn't win? Insanity. I totally agree with a that. A war that you knew you couldn't win? And weapons of mass destruction and... You go in and you start this war with Iraq? Why would you do that when this country, we need all the... I mean, so this... And I go, these are the people running the country. Is it, that doesn't, don't you know that? You can't do that? I, I, is, I, I'm confused. Or is this just the boys' club? And just, as George Collin once said, and we're not in it. I don't know. It's very simple. You know, coming from the street, it's all about money and power, Jazz. I guess so. They don't, want to, they don't want to get out of power. Power is intoxicating. Trust me, you know that, I know that. It's intoxicating. And when you have it, you don't want to give it up. And unfortunately, the system is 
corroding to a point where one one party in power sees that they can stay there, yeah. they're going to do what they need to do. And But I'll tell you the most dangerous thing that's happening, in my view, in America, the most dangerous thing, is the media. Because communism and every dictatorship starts with controlling the airwaves, controlling the media. So that you can only hear, people can only hear their side of the story, what they want you to hear. And I think, to a large degree in America, we don't have news anymore. No. We have opinions. We have, you know, I'll give, I'll give you an example. You know, the other day, um, you know, there was a bunch, bunch of immigrants that, I don't know if you saw this, but they cut the razor wire. They charged through the razor yeah. wire and they went at the uh, National Guard yeah. and, uh, and they charged the fence. There was only one network that you'd see that on. The networks that didn't want you to see it, you didn't see any of that footage, dramatic footage. That's not fair. No, it's, they're not reporting news. I mean, Walter Cronkite, you, you remember yeah, him. Absolutely. Were they like that? I no, don't think so. No, they reported the news. When you turned on the news, you got the news of you the day. You got the news. You got it from ABC, NBC, CBS. Those were, you know, we didn't have cable when we were growing up. Right. You had the news. You had the news. And you knew what was happening, and you could rely on what you were seeing. Right. They didn't get on there and give you their opinions. They reported the news. Today, it's all about opinions. It's a, it's really, they're not journalists. They're just... They're not journalists. They're just TV hosts, yeah. really. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing for me is that, you know, everybody's always knocking people and, you know, they're screaming at each other and they're calling each other names. And that starts at the top and it trickles down to everybody. And this is why we have such divisiveness in the country. I blame the people on the top. It's not, it's not, you know, you and I have a little bit more luxury. We have time to really learn and see what's going on. But mm. what about these people that are working eight hours a day just to try to put food on the table? Yeah. They don't have the time to get involved in, in all of it. They're trying to make their way, feed their families, support themselves. They can't be so involved in what's happening. So they turn on the news, they see something, oh, that's it, and that's what they think, and they don't know, they don't they know don't anything know. more. It's, it's terrible what's going on. I never thought I would see this. I really mean this. Chaz, I'm going to say this, and uh, my wife can back this up. I'm a very optimistic guy. Oh, we don't worry yeah, about too. it. My wife gets mad. Don't say don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. We're going to have, it's going to be okay. I'm not real optimistic about our country. I yeah. think we've gotten to a point where we really have to be concerned. I, I think this year is going to be extremely critical. We'll see what happens. You know? Um, I think it could be a violent year. I think so, too. I think no matter who wins, I think they're not going to accept it. And, and, le and let me ask you this. You got... You got the head of the FBI, and you got all of the intelligence groups telling us to be on our guard that we're going to have, some, that we have bad actors in our country. Right. My question is, when I hear that, I, I'm staring at the TV and I say, well, how do you continue to let this happen? Right. How? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. it. Do you hate your own people so much that you... You're putting the country in jeopardy, communities in jeopardy. And I even go, don't you care? Don't you care about people? Like a lot of illegals, you know, uh, drive drunk, drive drunk. And, and I have to say, and I'll call him out by name, even Joe Biden said, I do not consider a DUI a, a, a criminal offense. Really? Oh my God! When you when you get drunk and you kill five people, I don't care who you are, Democrat, Republican, you do right. do that. I'm sorry, I don't like that. I'm sorry. I totally agree. I'm it's really totally sorry. That's wrong. You know. And so, I would like to turn this country around somehow. I don't know. I hope so. I hope we get an answer. And you know, I, I I would say one last thing. You know, and I've been accused of, and rightfully accused, that I support. Trump during his presidency. Right. <clears throat> but forgetting that for a moment, I sit back and I say, why, what did this guy do that people hate him? I've never seen the amount, I mean, I'm on a street. I never seen yeah. hatred on the street like I see with this guy. Yeah. And I'm talking about, forget the politicians that hate him. Okay, I get it. He, he went in, he wanted to drain the swamp. He wasn't a good old boy. I get it. Mm. They didn't like that. 
But people are so irrational. It's like I'm saying, was he a serial killer? Did he, what yeah. did he do when he was a president that got you to this point? Forget, and again, I'm not supporting him. I'm asking that question. What mm. is it that he did in the four years that he was president that got you so riled up and, and filled you with hatred for him? I can't figure it out. Mm. I don't know. Chaz, I can't. And well, he, he does have a tendency to, to get people riled up. He does. You know, he does have a tendency to put his foot in his mouth. I agree with that. He does. I totally agree with you that. You know, and again, like I said, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I just... I, we're independents. I, we're, I've always been way. an independent. I like to vote for common sense. And I hope, I hope someone with common sense comes in and it brings everything down a little bit. Well, that's that's all we can hope for, and uh, you know we do our part, and we'll see what happens. And uh, right, it's going to be a tough year. Yeah, but we want to hear about the internet. What's your vote on that? Yeah, tell vote? us how you feel. Yay or nay? All right, this is Chaz Palminteri. the wise, and I'm Michael Francis, the wise guy, and we'll see you next time.